They talked about their experience and their visions. They were asked about who they would hire and about race. The four candidates on the ballot for Youngstown mayor tonight appeared before a large crowd and explained why they should be elected. Campaigning for mayor is our top story at 11. 250 people tonight crowded into the old sanctuary at Youngstown's New Bethel Baptist Church for a candidate's forum, which included the four on the ballot for Youngstown mayor. Nobody had to roll me in the air. I walked in on my own two feet, fed myself. Cecil Monroe started the evening, but the other candidates followed. You know what Janet Tarp is going to do. Janet Tarp is going to fight for you. I have handled the $180 million budget that we have and we will continue to work with. I want to talk about livable wage jobs. I want to talk about safer and brighter neighborhoods. I want to talk about reinvesting back into our youth. One question asked was if having four black candidates helped or hurt unify the black community. No one said it hurt, and Sean McKinney referenced President Obama, who was told not to run. But what did he do? He ran and won. The candidates were asked about a statement from current mayor John McNally that none of them were fit to be mayor. No, it didn't matter to me because, listen, John McNally is a criminal, so I don't care about his <laughs> Also raised was having department heads live in the city. Sean McKinney said he'd pick the best person. Tito Brown gave a two-candidate equal qualification example. One's in the city, one's out of the city. The one in the city will get the job first. Because I haven't promised nobody anything. Janet Tarkin hasn't promised not no, one person anything. So we have the space, we have the land. It's very affordable. You can build a beautiful house. There was a lively debate between the two candidates for Youngstown Clerk of Courts, challenger Dario Hunter, said it was time for a new generation to get a chance at leadership, while incumbent Sarah Brown Clark told the audience to go forward with what you know. If you want to vote in the 2017 general election this November, tomorrow is your last day to register. You must register or update your voter registration no later than 30 days before an election. If you do either of those things after the deadline, a change will apply for the next election. Just head to myohiovote.com. We've got all this information at WKBN.com as well.